So is Andrew Tate, aka Top G, spitting facts or capping about raw onions and testosterone? So I stumbled upon a video, I was on my YouTube short YouTube shorts, and you know, Andrew is there, he's talking about how when he was a fighter, he would consume raw onions to boost his testosterone. So his coach told him to do it, he saw other fighters doing it, he had decided that it increased their performance. So I was like, okay, cool. Normally I wouldn't think anything of it, but I thought that'd make a cool video for this channel. So I decided to look for testosterone and onion studies. I really didn't think I'd find any evidence. I'm not saying it's not true. I just didn't think there'd be much evidence out there, but I researched and actually found a paper on, you know, National Library of Medicine, PubMed Central, and it, and it finds a correlation. So there is, um, there's a little bit of an asterisk though, because a lot of the studies are based on rats, but one of them is on humans and it does show an increase in testosterone. So these studies, they're given rats or humans in one study, onion juice, uh, aqueous extract of onion, etc., and then they're basically measuring their testosterone. And I believe it says here for 75% of the research studies, they found that a, a direct link between testosterone and onion. Um, so yeah, I mean, obviously if it's animal studies, you need to think, well, how much equivalent onion would I need to, um, you know, eat? You need to take into account the size of the rat, their metabolism, like how, how would that convert to a human? And then also, um, you know, the fact that there was one study on male humans and, you know, there was a correlation and increase in testosterone. So there's definitely more to be looked into here. I'm not saying like take onions, you're going to get jacked and increase your testosterone. But I just think it's crazy that there's even that finding in rats, you know, there's, um you know, a lot of things begin in rats or humans and they can, you know, test more in humans and find the same thing. So this is how things begin. But I just thought it was quite cool. I will put the link below in terms of how they think it um, works. So they talk about mechanistic studies. I'm just going to scroll all the way down to they have a picture where they kind of based on the research and what they know of all the different mechanisms. They're talking about the possible mechanisms by which onion enhances testosterone in males. Now, when they say males, I think they should put, you know, rats. But, you know, anyway, it doesn't matter. So it increases luteinizing hormone, increases antioxidant enzymes, nitric oxide, nitric oxide production, and 5-AMP activated protein kinase while reducing free radicals and insulin resistance. Now, there's obviously... um way more to be looked into here but i think the luteinizing hormone increase is a big thing because that directly tells your testes to increase your testosterone so i mean that's a pretty interesting find i mean you know there's obviously like more detail to be looked in here but i just thought that was really interesting quite a fun little top uh, top level read um they reference like so many different studies here um and yeah that was pretty much it. So I thought it was pretty cool. So yeah, thanks for watching.